So, Freunde der Spielkultur. Wir spielen Before Your Eyes. Ich habe heute mal keine Brille auf, deshalb sehe ich aus wie ein anderer Mensch. Was damit zu tun hat, dieses Spiel wird mit den Augen gesteuert. Also es hat was mit dem Blindsinn zu tun. Es soll auch eine ganz äh, nette Erfahrung sein. Ähm, und bin mal gespannt, weil ich habe es noch nicht gespielt. Ich habe noch nicht reingeguckt oder sonst irgendwas. Ähm, ich weiß gar nicht, ob nur die Untertitel auf Deutsch sind. Ich lasse mal den Ton auch ein bisschen lauter, weil es wird wahrscheinlich eher nicht so die Quatscherfahrung sein, dass man die ganze Zeit redet. Ähm, und dann gucke ich mal, ob ich mit den Augen die ganze Zeit starren muss. Weil soweit ich das verstanden habe, du steuerst das Spiel mit den Augen und es hat immer was damit zu tun, wenn du blinzelst. Also wenn du blinzelst, gehst du wohl von Szenerie zu Szenerie über. Und umso länger du <lacht> nicht blinzelst, also hört sich jetzt anders, wenn es ein Spiel wäre, wer zuerst blinzelt, verliert. Ähm, aber ich bin mal gespannt. Also es hat sehr, es ist sehr, hat sehr positiv abgeschnitten. Auf Steam. Ist auch, glaube ich, eher künstlerisch zu sehen. Du darfst natürlich an meiner Firewall vorbeispielen. Solange deine Kamera aktiviert ist, erfasst und verfolgt das Spiel Daten, wenn du blinzest, um dein Spielerlebnis zu verbessern. Diese Daten werden in keiner Weise, keinster Weise gespeichert, weitergeleitet oder aufgenommen. Das Spiel verwendet sie lediglich dazu, deine Augenerkennungseinstellungen lokal festzuhalten. Indem du deine Kamera aktivierst, stimmst du dieser Verwendung zu. Falls du keine Kamera hast oder deine Kamera nicht aktivieren möchtest, ist das Spiel auch ohne Augenerkennung spielbar. In diesem Fall kannst du die Augenerkennung nach dieser Kalibrierungssequenz in den Einstellungen deaktivieren. Nein, extra nicht. Sind deine Augen sichtbar? Oh mein Gott. Aus der Perspektive habe ich ja voll die Trauerringe. Positioniere den Kopf so, dass der in diesem Bereich ist. Oh mein Gott, der kennt das echt gut. Der kennt nämlich auch mein schnelles Blinzeln. Krass, oder? Guck mal, ich guck gerade, ob die Kalibrierung auch auf Asiate eingestellt ist. Ich glaube trotzdem. Ich bin begeistert. Alle erkannt. Falls das Spiel ein Blinzeln nicht mehr korrekt registriert, drücke die Leertaste, um die er Erkennung neu zu starten. Jedes Mal, wenn du blinzelst, wird das vom Spiel registriert. Siehst du, wie es funktioniert? Versuche auf dem weißen Symbol zu blinzeln. Verstehe ich schon nicht. Das weiße Symbol wäre in der Mitte. Ach, bin ich doof. Man kann mit der Maus noch steuern. <lacht> Top.
it's mine. Well, hello there, stranger. Whew. You're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with, or hands to shake with, or nose to look down with. So we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you, if that makes any sense. So, if you understand what I'm saying, um, blink over my hand here. Ooh, well look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were special. You see all them poor souls down there? Lost in the waves. I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch, or what's a better word? Notion? No, there's a better word than that. Ah! Premonition. A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. You see that tower out there? Big scary one? That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper. To be judged. I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stir. Now if she's impressed, I get paid the big coin and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't. I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you, well, <laughs> we don't have to worry about that, because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> no, shut up, you trash birds. You had your chances. It wasn't my fault you were no good. Layabouts. Unsatisfactory clock watchers. I got some words for you. <laughs> Sorry, you had to hear that. So sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin a yarn if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I wanna see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So just think back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember I'm gonna send you there. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not gonna be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. Now don't be afraid, and don't try to fight it. The th and just try to enjoy it this time. Hab jetzt schon ganz trockene Augen. Look at that sun. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? You must really like it out here, huh? Well, I get that. I like it too. Let's 
let's go get you some seashells. What do you say? You see that big spiky plant over there? Right over there. Don't you think? That's called Nagave. Eleven years from now, that plant will die so it can give birth to this tall, amazing tree covered in flowers. We'll have to keep our eyes on that one. The day really slipped away, didn't it? Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Now where's the first page of my piece? I can't find it anywhere. Did I put it? every birthday. That's a great idea. You know, it will really be something to see how he grows. Man, the zoom on this thing is fantastic. Mm, what was that beep? You know what's odd? I fear this battery isn't even working. Oh, you want to play along with mommy, don't you? <laughs> Give it time. I'm sure you'll be better than me soon enough. Sounds good, honey! I'm sending it to my mentor next week. It has to be perfect. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. Yeah, what do you like about it? What do I like about it? I like the music. That's very specific. I also like the person playing it. Pretty smart. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean he's going to be necessarily. You're right. No. You're right. <sighs> no, it's not derivative. At least I didn't think it was. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. No, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just put a lot of expectation <laughs> on this all. Okay, I understand. Thank you for considering my piece, John. It really means a lot. Oh, that's sure a little mess of color. You know, if you keep working at it, one day you'll be able to paint exactly what's in your head. 
you'll be a real artist. Unlike your poor mom. See? That used to be my piano. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. God, he made me practice so much. I hated it at first. I think he hoped to make it further than conducting the high school choir. Never said anything, though. He was what you might call the strong, silent type. Can you believe I grew up in the snow? And I came all the way out here to the beach. I don't even know how I got here. Your dad got his job and I just came with him. Like a human suitcase. Okay, Benny. Are you ready to see something really special? I just don't want him to get attached. Oh, ich krieg ein Haustier. Richard. What? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Was ist das denn? Yeah. What's wrong with that? We can't keep him. Can we? I mean, I'm pretty much definitely allergic, so no, right? No. We'll find someone to take him. But while he's here, I say we call him Ernie. <laughs> Little Ernie. Fits him, doesn't it? Oh, he's so cute. He's so sweet. Ah! Augen auf! The Scarface Ernie. Record I taught you. Remember? There you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? Now what about C minor? You remember how to play that one? Very good! Just one note different. But that one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. <gasps> sort of like me and your little friend on your piano there. Das Spiel ist nicht darauf vorbereitet, dass ich so lange die Augen offen halten kann. She was in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain <lacht> Professor und Studentin in her eyes, you know, which I very quickly lost. Dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. Ja, auf die Person weiß ich auch noch, die mich zum Reisen überredet. Where would you want to go? If you could only go to one. Now, you know the ancient Egyptians believed cats had godlike powers. They would have worshipped our little Ernie. Can you imagine? <laughs> Sorry, Ernie. Born in the wrong time period, I guess.
there's that. That's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? Richard, are you hearing this? What? He's playing my piece. He must have figured it out by ear. I mean, I was a gifted kid, but he's brilliant. Verdammt, ich habe aus Versehen äh, gezogen. Oh God, I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot. Also, sie war so geblinzelt. Die Szene hätte ich gern länger gehabt, aber so ist das Spiel. Aber bis jetzt springt es noch keine mehrere Jahre. Das ist halt immer noch relativ übersichtlich. Oh, er ist richtig groß geworden. Und ich kann auch schon besser zeichnen als früher. Oh nein, du hast auf den Tisch gepinkelt. Das wird eine Katze nie machen. Oder du bist eine behinderte Katze. When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? You're a working woman now. I guess that's true. Don't want to go to your head, but yeah. Please let the cat know. It's time to use the litter box, though. Baby steps. He's got one eye. <lacht> Aber deshalb muss doch nicht alles anpinkeln, nur weil der ein Auge hat. Das macht den ja nicht pinkelbehindert. Aber ich bin schon anscheinend bedeutend älter. This is called a metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. Scheint ganz schönes Wunderkind zu sein. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. And he said, yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, I could live on through that as well. I haven't seen him in over 10 years. Can you believe that? Upsala. Langsam trocknen meine Augen aus. Aber ganz selten registriert er das nicht mit dem Blinzeln. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Subdivide the time. 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e. You're off. You're off, Ben. You can't hear that?
Hmm. There you go, buddy. Okay, now keep a firm grip on it, just like that. Oh my. <laughs> I think you like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, L, so we can photograph you. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? It may not be interesting at first, but if you keep going back out there every day, you'll be surprised by how much it changes. Lass mich raten, im Nachbarhaus wird eine Familie ein Kind mit einem Lost Cat Ernie. Ernie! Ernie! Buddy! Ernie! Ernie! Ernie, we need you! Oh my god, Elle, what have you got eaten by a coyote? My sinuses would be eternally indebted. What? Did you just say? No, I, I said I'm really worried. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! God, honey. I'm worried too. I know, sweetie. Ernie! Kid! Come to Papa! I know you're mad about last night, but this is ridiculous. What happened last night? Oh, God. What? Well, if he survived that, I don't know how worried we have to be. Okay, well, let's take this seriously, okay? He has one eye. That means predators can come up on one side and he doesn't even know. Okay? Let's take this seriously. Ernie! Come on, dude! So you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? But Ernie's a boy. And you're sure about that? I thought it was. Uh-huh. And that was based on... P-hole distance. Say that one more time, too. Key hole distance from the butt. If it's further away or something, then it's one or the other. And what was Ernie's? I couldn't really tell. Well, what are we talking about then? I'm still not understanding how you let this happen. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't think about it. It just, it just happened. You just happened to find a stray cat in the alley. We keep it even though I hate cats. He keeps coloring the grass blue, the ocean green, and then the sky red. And what's wrong with that? No, are you able to pick up the new book? Yes, the Manila Galleon is of particular interest. No, I meant Benny's book. Oh, yeah, got those two. It's extremely expensive, right? Oh, ich mag Dinosaurier. Can't put a price on learning. Und Australien. Komischerweise mache ich irgendwelche merkwürdigen Erfahrungen. Scheiße. Ah, oh, Kackaugen. Ich weiß, es ist unmöglich, dass du etwas so komplexes spielen könntest. Warum habt ihr keine Feuchtigkeit? But just take it one day at a time. Trust me. You're really getting there, honey. Next week we'll start working on your other hand. Listen to him, Richard. Das muss ich auch mal lernen auf dem Keyboard. Okay. Two brackets on each side. Für Elise. Two screws on each bracket. Uh, two washers on each screw. So that means we need eight washers. We have none. Where the hell are the washers? Chris said find the zero, and he just drew an arrow pointing to it. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? I mean, everything is wrong with that. I want that box full 
Oh, wir ziehen um. Ah, nee, wir, ich gebe mein altes Spielzeug ab. Weil ich dafür zu alt geworden bin, bestimmt. Und ich habe einige Preise beim Klavierspielen gewonnen. Und ich surfe jetzt. Ach, die, We die Weiber werden mich lieben später. Und jetzt kommt meine erste Liebe ins Nach so Nachbarhaus. Why are you always out here taking photos? You know, if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. Chloe! Oh shoot, I think I gotta go. But, um, try to take a photo of me running into my house. I'm pretty fast, so I don't think you'll be able to. But you can try. Und ich habe übrigens gedacht, sie würde ihr T-Shirt hochziehen, als sie das gesagt hat. Das ist, weil ich so viel scheiß Kacke auf Twitch gucke. Wow, L, he's unbelievable. My God, I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising a musical prodigy. Didn't you used to be a composer yourself, L? No, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah, but I haven't done that in years. Not since he was four or five years old. And, and what do you do, Richard? He's a professor. Of what? Well, no one really knows. No, I mean, what's his field? Uh, it's maritime archaeology. Ah. Very cool. <laughs> no one really knows what it means. Mm, unknown legend. <laughs> it's kind of one of those professions that stops the dinner party short. Oh, okay. okay. More wine? I'll have a little more wine, please. Yeah, yeah. What is it? The class is world history. My name is Mr. Isaac. The class will be broken up in hey, you. minutes. Look on your desk. I wrote you something. This is a quote. Mm -hmm. I want each of you to write it down. Not doodle on the sidelines. Not stare off into space. Okay. Now I will go on to the next slide. Chloe! Tell me, what did the quote say? Um, right, I definitely know this. You were taking notes, weren't you, Chloe? Oh, yes, of course. So those who do not remember the past, repeat the past. That's right, right? Indeed it is. Though I'd prefer you to answer without the help of your boyfriend next time. If we do not you broke keep my own talking rule, but I asked you to, so <laughs> I guess I'll have to let you live. And now, on to what you've all 
Aber ich denke mal, alles wird Auswirkungen haben später. Ich bin schon elf Jahre alt. Only for Playscape. Ist das Pokémon? Fange schleimige Monster mit Dr. Abyss, das Pokémon nachempfunden. Er wird Lobster appeared. Okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh. Benny, why did you draw me? You're not good enough. I look so ugly. Ugh. It's called a magnet school. It's about an hour away in a town called Burton. I know the change can be scary, but I just want you to go in and meet the dean I spoke with. You know, life can take you to some incredible places if you're really, really good at something. He says, you've had so much trouble making friends with Playco. I want you at a place where people really get you. So what do you think, Benjamin? You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? Sorry, he gets very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year for an audition? We'll get a few pieces that you can have him start learning. I'm eager to hear what your son is capable of. Hm. So, I understand you were a musician yourself. Where did you study? Oh, Berkeley. But I was in the composition department. Ah, uh, and who did you study under? John McDonald. Hmm. I understand he's very difficult. Yes. Taciturn is the word I used. Taciturn. Yes. People have described me that way, if you can believe it. Oh, I would never say that about you. Thank you. I wouldn't either. You seem very warm. Very caring. Was soll ich Bach lernen? As you can see, there are some very fast runs in there. And a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So no pressure. I just want you to try. And we can see if you start enjoying it. Ich glaube, ich muss mich später entscheiden, ob ich ähm, Klavier spiele oder zeichnen werde. Like in really meinem Leben. Rise to the occasion, just this once. I wish I had the option of going to a school like that when I was your age. I wouldn't be working this boring job or living in this boring town, I'll tell you that. What was that? Is that the piece? What is going on with you these days? I barely know whose kid you're supposed to be. Oh my god, Benny! What are you thinking? You could have killed us. Ich will aber nicht deine dein Leben haben. Ich will mein eigenes Leben leben, Mutter. Don't answer. 
answer that, Ben. You can talk to your friend after you practice. really calling you again? What, is she obsessed with you? So listen, I found a construct... What are you doing? I explicitly asked you not to pick up the phone. Oh, he's fine. Go talk to her. Oh, what do you know about anything that's going on right now? Okay, you know, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't raise your voice like that. Well, then don't stick your nose into things that you're completely checked out of. Okay. Oh, man. Did I just I cause a fight out, with your parents? I actually think I'm sorry, dude, out means but you should also cherish these women. My mom and dad used to fight, and I would always hate it, but now I actually miss it a lot. Anyway, so basically across the board, crustacean types perform well against mollusks. <laughs> so we got to be leaning on lobster a lot more in these reef battles. Then, once we get to the trench, will be facing what they call craniate types, so chondric types. Hello, Dragon. Anubis, in the presence of Ma'at, who you remember is the goddess of truth and justice, would weigh the deceased soul against the feather, determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. And what if they are also deemed unworthy? Well, you can see that ugly fur ball under the scale. That is Amamet, and she's got, and yes, that's a she, the head of hey, a crocodile. Mr. Kid, that's, see, look at it. And the body of a hippopotamus, though I would not say that to her face. Now, as you can see, she is ready to devour any of the deceased who do not pass judgment. Sort of like me with your weekly quizzes. <laughs> so I am not quite Ew, sure. Why I, don't why is he so trends. scared looking? Right okay, I'll call you when I'm leaving my house. <laughs> you better pick up my call, dude. Muss bestimmt üben wieder und dann entscheiden. Just as he's starting to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought for him. Okay, listen, I don't claim to understand the motives of children. Richard! Benny has a chance here. A real chance to be really good at something. I mean, no offense at all. But I don't think you actually really understand what that is. Huh. No, I suppose you're right. Oh, Richard, please. Lights out. You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. Richard, tell your friend to turn the lights off. Benny, mom says turn the lights off. Not mom says you say. <laughs> I'm a sticky for a baby. I apologize. Das Nachbarmädchen okay. reißt mich in die Scheiße. Ah nee, ich reiß mich selbst in die Scheiße, weil ich das ja entscheide. You know, I'm really glad you're here. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Or to get off my chest. Okay. I don't think Conksters is actually a really good game. My cousin Yoon, he was in town this weekend, and he was explaining how it's actually a ripoff of a really good Japanese game. He calls it a cash grab. So I'm sorry that I made you like it because it's actually a terrible game. But I also think that if it was a really good game, maybe we wouldn't have enjoyed playing it as much. 
we would have been so focused on how good it was and not the feelings we had while we were playing it. Like my favorite vegetable is a tomato, but Yoon thinks that they're the grossest ever. And you're probably the least popular boy in the school. We'll stay but home. I also like hanging out with you the most, which was also something I wanted to talk to you about. I like hanging out with you a lot, which is weird. I'll stay I here. What happened with my mom? I never like hanging out with anyone. So this has been a big surprise for me this year, in a lot of ways. I think I like that you let me talk. My cousin never lets me talk. My dad does, but I can tell he's not really listening. Probably didn't sleep at all, out in the cold all night. You're already feeling sick, aren't you? It's okay, you still got this. I mean, all the practice had to count for something. Maybe just try and close your eyes now and get a little sleep on the way over. I'm going to play the recording so the sound of mastery can seep into your subconscious a little, okay? Close your eyes, Ben. I'm going to be there soon. In your own time, Benjamin, we are very excited to hear. I think that's enough. So, Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again, once you've had a bit more time to practice, yes? As you know, Burton isn't the right fit for every student, and I wish you the best of luck on your path, wherever it may take you, okay? All right. I, I... Maybe I pushed you too hard. Maybe I turned into my own father. I don't know. You have to find something to focus on. The world isn't very kind to people who aren't really good at something. Nur mit dieses Spiel. Das ist alles, alles, ist alles Playscape. I'm not worried about who you are, Benny. I'm worried about who you're going to become. Ach, diesmal hat es auch mein leichtes Zwinkern wahrgenommen. Just until this nasty thing clears. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you go. Oh yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny, okay? Just maybe five minutes, kiddo, okay? Lungenröntgen? That's such a crucial time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Yeah, look, having him home for low means I can spend more time with him. You know? We can focus him, make sure he's staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? Can we? I glaube, ich werde überhaupt nichts in meinem Leben werden.
Weil ich glaube, ich bin unheilbar krank. Deshalb war ich auch schon beim Arzt. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Dieses Boot kommt mir sehr bekannt vor. Hui! Endlich kann ich zeichnen. Aus Mozart wird ein Vincent. Ich glaube, dass es von der Lebensgeschichte her ist, das ist, was er wirklich will. Loser, mein Bild ist besser, weil ich Kontraste besser zeichnen kann als ihr. <lacht> Kunsthochschulbewerbung. Schon cool. Inception. to learn to be painters you are here to learn to be artists and although i was hired to teach you it is a sham there is no teaching art so don't just sit there slack jod make mm -hmm. art you ponies oh. very wacky and fun these are. It's very zany, very kitsch. Lucky for you, the world is always in need of more greeting card artists. Warum nur weil ich realistisch zeichne? Das 
There you go, Mr. Brin. Feel each shape. I want you all to take a long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. Oh, wow. You see, he has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece. I pray you have a stronghold on yourself, Mr. Brin. For I fear, a talent like these, you may soon be swept away by a whirlwind. It becomes difficult putting one foot in front of the other when they are no longer touching the ground. ironic sincerity of this piece is so sincerely ironic. He's flipped the discourse so thoroughly, I'm actually dizzy. I know that lots of agents gave you lots of cards, and it all probably feels weird and alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I can teach you one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, open the door. Making a living isn't selling out. I wish I had thought of it that way. Benjamin! Marvelous show last week. Truly stunning. I've never been prouder. Uh, one little thing. A birdie told me that Elba Preston Uber gave you her card. Now, I want you to cut that card into little pieces and feed it to an alley cat. Elba Prasenhuber is not in the business of the arts. Elba Prasenhuber is in the business of business. And you, child, you are no business, man. You are an artist. Live like one. Don't worry. You're not selling your soul. Well, look at that. You've crumpled my contract. <laughs> uh, whatever you want, kid. Sure, you got talent. <laughs> okay, that's it. Get out of my office. You know I'd call security if I thought you were actually a threat. But what are you going to do, paint me to death? <lacht> ich will jetzt erstmal auf den Baumstamm gehen und dort in den Eimer kacken. Und das heißt Kunst verkaufen. To being a difficult artist, the best of us are. is divine. So, now that you've grown your wings, tell me, young master, where will you fly? May I suggest somewhere abroad? This American air can be stifling. Ah, now what to eat? If we both only get appetizers, I can afford to go Dutch. Otherwise, I thank you for the dinner. Ich glaube, jetzt reise ich nach Ägypten, wie ich wollte. Ja. Honey, honey, stop. Is that a... Is that an even brain? Oh my god. I think it is. All places. Happy you threw that contract in her face. 
place now. You didn't sell out, and you still got rich. <laughs> oh, but listen to me, Benjamin. Now is the single most important moment in your entire career. Collectors, curators, how we all love a rising star, and how bored we become once it's settled. Keep rising, Benjamin. Wenn du Augen hast, wirst du diese Show lieben. Hey Ben. Don't even pick up this call, okay? I mean it. I'm just calling to inform you that I went to the doctor today and well, I'm I'm going to be a little sick for a while, but really I I don't want you worrying about it at all. You're at such an important moment in your career and <lacht> Scheiße, ich wollte antworten. Aber ich hatte nicht genug Zeit. But that's enough from me. Now you'll hear from the person who I believe was the single thing in the world my wife was most proud of. Her magnum opus, so to speak. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Mm. Benny? You ready to come up here? Das war so klar. Go on, B. Say something. Hey you, as you know, I talk to big, very important people every day. And there's one thing that everybody is asking me. What's going on with Benjamin Prinn? And what am I supposed to say? That I haven't heard from my star pupil in six months? This is getting ridiculous. You are a snake. You are a fraud. But worst of all, Benjamin, you are a little tease. I have told the world that Benjamin Green is a genius. That Benjamin Brain is silent because Benjamin Brain is hard at work creating his greatest work yet. But you are doing nothing! The world has forgotten you, Benjamin! They have moved on! And I. I have moved on too. You have broken my heart. Hey, B. Calling to tell you, I think I'm selling the house. She's everywhere here, son. I can't move without bumping into her. And then I just find myself breaking down again. I hope you understand. Take whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> yeah, I think you did the right thing. By the way, she didn't want you to see her like that. She just wanted you to focus on your work. That was the only thing that mattered to her. What's that? What's so fascinating, son?
Look. It's unbelievable, Benny. It's like she's standing in the room with us. Like I can see her in the paint. I can feel her. It's been years. I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, if you were down for that. I just can't believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. I should have guessed it. I mean, with all those little drawings you did. Remember when you still drew my portrait even when I begged you not to? God, you were such a little jerk back then. I kept that drawing, you know? Oh my... And your mom. I always heard her playing piano from next door. But I didn't know she wrote the actual music. She was a genius. Like mother, like son, I guess. Hey, so... Not to be forward, but... What are you doing after this? Maybe we could get a drink or something? I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. Now would you look at that? <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. <laughs> you finally hit the jackpot, Flapjack. With all the nobody nothings dying every day, you finally sink your hook into a... Whoa! Well, there you are. Well, hello, sir. If I realized I would have cleaned up, I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists, a couple college athletes here or there, but, whew, an internationally renowned painter? <laughs> the gatekeeper's gonna eat you up. Hey, speaking of that, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you help me out with the word choice, since, you know, I'm still working on that. See if I'm getting all the strokes right, the proper, Composition, if you catch my drift. <laughs> Forget about it. All right, here we go. Gatekeeper, before you stands the soul of a great man. Now, would you describe yourself as a, a happy kid or a lonely one? His childhood was a happy one, growing up in a loving home raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. And, uh, what'd you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Kind of like your champion or, or more. Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was ever encouraging, teaching him to recognize the greatness within. How about that neighbor girl, huh? What was she to you? Was she your best friend? or first love. Now be honest here. Now don't be bashful, man. You can tell me. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his first love, 
and blowing it the next day. Now from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium, right? See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick. And he had to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. Now be quiet, Holly. With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said shut up, you, you scum goals, you mucky fans. I should probably tell you, those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings. Oh, yeah, good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Hopefully you won't be seeing him again. <laughs> You're a flea-bitten sap, you know that? Just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. Now don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that I ever fished out of that black muck. And I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. But it's too late for that. We're in this together. And the gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm gonna ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time, I want the truth. This ain't a schoolyard staring contest, buddy. Also meine Geschichte ist gelogen. Not this. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? Come on, keep blinking. I I, I haven't found it yet. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? 
You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. I get all this. We need to move. This, stay here. What did your mother hear on that phone call? I'm getting it. Hello? Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. <gasps> oh. Elle, I see. She knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. Let's keep going. Stay in time with the metronome, okay? You were a prodigal talent. I get it. Subdivision. Let's move. One E and a two E and a three. You're eternally indebted. What did you just say? This isn't a trip down memory lane. I need you to stay focused. God, honey. Yes, I understand about the cat. Let's keep going. Da hat ein Hund bestimmt die Katze getötet oder ein Dachs oder sonst irgendwas. Und deshalb bin ich auch der stille Junge geworden. Oh mein Gott. The death of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson. That simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work. To make yourself sensational. Listen to him, Richard. I'm enlisting him in that competition. I thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music. Not if you win. I know you want to stay here, man, but we don't have the time. So... I'm not worried about who you are, Benny. I'm worried about who you're going to become. I get all this. We need to move. Hey, Elle, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? This is Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. Late. We can focus on trees. Staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? I really don't want to hear us talking about this. I mean, what's the point? What do you mean? What's the point? What does that mean? What's the point of any of it? If he's never going to get any better. Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard one of us saying something like that? I'd never forgive myself. I... It's okay. He's asleep. It's okay. I see. You got sick. 
You howled at the moon, the top of your lungs. You were sick for a long time, weren't you? Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. We're almost at the end of this. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Try writing with it. Well, hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. <laughs> exactly. It was very artsy. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. Why don't you write the story of your life so far? And then what you're going to do once you get better. That's the story I want to hear. Story of who you're going to become, okay? Man, this is wild. You really got into this, didn't you? Oh, here I am. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. First love? Okay, Benny. <laughs> and you know, we really could have just slept on the beach another night. But I'm also glad we didn't because, well, another night wouldn't be the same night, if that makes sense. Okay, uh, back to the story. He'd loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. Man, you take your doodle seriously. I did not realize, but I respect it. You are going to be in there for about 30 minutes, so try to get comfortable. You're doing great, buddy. Just a little longer, okay? You're gonna be so annoyed with me, but I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading aloud from what I think was your story the other night. I know, I know, I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know I'm such a big fan of anything you do.
can't. Just go in there and tell him you loved it. I'm sorry, I just can't. I just can't. Not right now. Okay, don't worry. Just go to bed. I'll talk to you. Hey, B. Just want you to know that Mom loved your story. She's just, you know, I think it was just very emotional for her to read. But I, I thought it was great. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home, raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. <laughs> I'm certainly glad you feel that way. But what I want to know is, where'd you learn to write so well? All those cool words. Reads like Dickens. Try closing your eyes. It might help you remember. So if he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, I understand it hits mothers the hardest, this sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been... Uh, it's been a rough one. I must have left the bus. Eddie. Yeah, hey man, it's Richard. Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. Yeah, no, that's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole tone is pissing me off right now. Yes, I understand you have a business to run. It's a very cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. Okay. Well. Well, then I guess all I can say is screw you too. I said screw you too. Yeah, man. That's all I got. Hey, this isn't 
funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I... Hey, Benny. Buddy. Did you just throw something? Kind of sounded like you threw your cell phone at the wall. You know, your mom's not mad at you. She's just... Well, she's tired. Really tired, I think. But you know, it's okay if you did throw your phone. I remember when you were just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough time. I mean, not as tough as now, but... Yeah, her music had been rejected, and she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here, and... I feared that, yeah, I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano, and just your little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. So, I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. Wait, is that? That's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? Keep playing, B. She's listening. It's okay. I'm just so happy she's here. We've got to show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. Like, she didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with... Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey... You're an idiot. You do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. I, um, I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day and how I reacted to it. I feel kind of bad. I shouldn't have done that. But... Hey, what are you looking at? Don't look up there. Look at me. I'm talking to you.
want to give you something. But I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm gonna leave. Close your eyes now, okay? Is that? It's something new I'm working on. So you're writing again? Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well, that would make sense. But do you like it? I mean, yeah. I love everything you do. What do you like about it? Ah, uh, not this old trap. Go on. I'm waiting. Well, it made me feel like... Like... Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed, maybe it's not so unspeakable. Nailed it, didn't I? Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good. You know, for a while now, I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Ugh. I know just what to tell her. Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. I should go get ready. Don't worry. We got this. I think. Ich glaube, es ist eine Mischung aus nicht blinzeln dürfen und Emotionen. <lacht> Gatekeeper, before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. That means she's ready to hear your story.
You know, I never told you how much I loved your story. It's really so imaginative. And the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy. My only issue was, well, I didn't like him very much. So, I wanted to read you something I wrote for you, which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now. It's called The Great Life of Benjamin Brin. <clears throat> Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home to an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So, when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then, when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in so, that year, he began to worry, <sighs> but he hadn't lived enough. So he made up a story of the great life he thought he wanted to live which only made him forget the great life he already had. How he had filled a new home with light and joy and promise. How he met a girl, his neighbor, who felt all alone in the world and made her feel okay. Okay again. And how, even when he was sick, he still gave his parents hope. How he reminded them of exactly who they were after they had almost forgotten. So when he was going to go, he was o it's okay. Because he'd already lived a great life, a full life. And he was everything he needed to be, <laughs> just as he was. She accepts. Close your eyes now and keep them closed. <laughs> She's gonna let you in. Go on. You know what to do. Why is he smiling like that? He must be somewhere that he likes. Erwartet. <lacht> You're gonna feel the same way I do. I'm gonna say I love you before you say I'm gone. When that chance comes through. Als Scroll gesagt hat, dass ich auch ihr große Liebe bin, da hatten sie mich. <lacht> Ab dem Punkt hatten die mich richtig. Aber er mich sehr stark an, äh, The Dragon Cancer. Ja, 
Aber sonst diese visuelle Geschichte auch mit den Augen offen halten und halt ne, mal Augen schließen und nur Dialog hören, ist halt echt hohe Kunst, ey. Krasser Scheiß. Echt krasser Scheiß. Ach, wirklich <lacht> für mich das Indie-Meisterwerk des Jahres, obwohl man es nur mit Augen spielt. <lacht> Ich muss mich noch sammeln. Ja, wer von Anfang an dabei war, wird es verstehen. Wenn Leute zwischendurch kamen, glaube ich, ist das schwierig, sich da rein zu versetzen. Danke, Replay, für die Bits. <lacht> Aber es war halt schon sehr traurig. Aber ohne Kack, ich habe am Anfang gesagt, ich werde mein Ende, das Ende des Lebens sich erreichen. Schon als ich den Arzt gesehen habe, wusste ich, dass ich schwer krank bin und nicht nur einfach krank. Aber ich habe mich dann nicht mehr getraut zu sagen, irgendwie komisch, dass das Leben dann einfach weiterging. Aber so, die Seele hat sich selbst einen vorgelogen darüber, wie ihr Leben war. Aus dieser Geschichte heraus. Ich frage mich aber schon, ob die ersten Entscheidungen wirklich eine Veränderung der Geschichte haben. Ja, ich lade es auch auf YouTube hoch. Ich mag also... Die experimentellen Sachen mag ich ja wirklich gerne. Ich mag ja auch auditiv, also das frühere dieser Auditiv-Spiele, wo du wirklich nur gehört hast. Und ich bin ja auch so ein Klaviermusik-Fan, weshalb ich das mich auch noch mal so ein bisschen härter getroffen hat. Ah. Nee, ich muss meine Augen nicht neu definieren. Oh mein Gott, ich sehe so tot aus. Aber kommt hier noch irgendwas zum Ende? <lacht> kommt noch was nach den Credits? Danke, Ramsi. Das Spiel ist ein emotionales Meisterwerk. Ich glaube, ich habe nur mehr bei Hachiko geweint. <lacht> Vom Film her. Hachiko erzeugt auch irgendwie so am Ende. Die letzten 20 Minuten ist man nur noch am Heulen. <lacht> Oh, Honig im Kopf ist auch, ja. Ah, E.T. E.T. hat mich nicht zum Wein gebracht als Kind. Auch nicht Bambi oder sowas am Anfang. Ja, machen wir hier die Endeaufnahme für YouTube. Das werde ich als ganze Stück hochladen, wer sich dafür interessiert. Ich weiß nicht, ob anfängliche Ver unterschiedliche Entscheidungen das Spielgeschehen wirklich verändern. Aber es hat ja schon ganz schön einen Plot-Twist. Weil sollte ich in den Kommentar schreiben, wer das nach der ersten halben Stunde gut findet, sollte sich dieses Spiel auf jeden Fall kaufen. Es hat sehr viele Steam-positive Reviews und sollte das einfach selbst machen. Aber sehr... Hammer. <lacht>